Hello everybody, I'm Karara, and welcome to a walkthrough. Today, I'm going to be looking at the 2016 December Yusuko Bronze Contest. And I'll be basically looking at these problems for the first time and walking you through my thought process in solving them. So let's start with the first problem, Square Pasture. Farmer John has decided to update his farm to simplify his geometry. Previously, his cows grazed in two rectangular fenced-in pastures. Farmer John would like to replace these with a single squared-in fenced-in pasture of minimum size that still covers all the regions of his farm that were previously enclosed by former two fences. Please help Farmer John figure out the minimum area he needs to make a new square pasture so that if he places it appropriately, it can still cover all the area formerly covered by the two older rectangular pastures. The square pasture should have its sides parallel to the x and y axes. Now let's look at what we're given. Okay, so input format. The first line is four space separated integers x1, y1, x2, y2. And that happens for both both the first rectangular enclosure and the second rectangular enclosure, where x1, y1 is the lower left-hand corner and x2, y2 is the upper right-hand corner. Okay, now that we have our input format down, let's go draw a diagram. So let's draw our x and y axes. And now let's draw our rectangular enclosures. Okay, now that we have our rectangular enclosures, we want a single square that could hold both of them, which would look something like this. Okay, so what we notice about the square side length is that it kind of looks like it's the distance from here to here, which we'll call D1. But it could also have been this distance right here. But we see that if we drew a square with only this distance over here, it would not even close to cover both. So basically, the side length of our square has to be the bigger of D1 and D2. Now all we have to do is calculate D1 and D2. So let's see. D1 is basically the maximum x-coordinate of both rectangles, which is right here, subtracted from the minimum x-coordinate of both rectangles, which is right here. Similarly, D2 is just the max y-coordinate subtracted from the min y-coordinate. So let's write down what we're given. We're given, for rectang rectangle A, we're given an x1, y1, x2, y2. So we have ax1, ay1, and a ax2, and a ay2. Similarly, we're given a bx1, a by1, a bx2, and a by2. So to find the max y coordinate, max x coordinate, we see that because we're given that x2 is always going to be bigger than x1, we only have to take the max of bx2 and ax2. And this gives us our max x coordinate. Similarly, we can find our min x coordinate by doing the same thing with min of ax1 and bx1. And then we apply the same logic to y. So let's start coding. First, let's include our stuff for processing the input. Okay, so right now I've included all the important stuff for reading in our input, which includes our f stream, which includes our f in and our f out. Let's just set up our variables first. Now let's just read them in. And now we have to implement our actual algorithm. So we start by setting, finding our max y, then our min y, and then the same thing for our x's. Now that we have our maxes and mins, we can find our d1 and d2. And once we have our d1 and d2, the area of our square is just the max of d1 or d2 squared. So we'll simply f out max of pow d1 2, pow d2 2. When I put it into the grader, it showed me that I forgot to include math that age, so let's do that real quick. And we're still messing up on two test cases. Let's see. Oh, unfortunately, I typed this one wrong. Bam, okay. First problem done. That's it for this walkthrough. Let me know if there are any other types of problems that you would like me to go through in the future. If you enjoyed the content, hit the like button and subscribe for more educational videos. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time.